This is the general, and welcome back to Cro Magnon modded server. Oink, oink. <laughs> I found this amazing hat. It's a, a turtle in a hat. And that's beautiful. Also, I'm a pig. There's uh, this other weird entity business that I found. Look at this. Entity dot random things dot spirit dot name. It looks like a little blue slime. Look at that. <laughs> it's ridiculous. You can just scoot around. Do 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 do. Ah, oh, so beautiful. Uh, there's a funny thing with it though. Apparently, it goes. Ooh, the beef jerky is done. That was quick. Uh, look at it. It goes invisible. Like that. How ridiculous is that? Does that mean I'm invisible? I mean, it doesn't give me any f effects. It just... It might be a bug. Who knows? Anyway, enough kidding. This is me. I'm wearing iron gear. Yep. How? How did this happen, you wonder? Good question, I say. <laughs> uh, good. Because I was running out of food here. I've been surviving on berries. Actually, I had a little, uh, a little bit of chicken that I've been eating, but I ran out. Anyway, enough about that. Uh, as you can tell here, raw iron. This doesn't look like iron. What is this? Well, I tell you, this is an interrupting spider. Shh. This is fool's iron. However, it acts like normal iron, and you can just smelt it up in a furnace and it will give you an iron ingot. So that's how I kind of bypassed the whole bronze level business and uh, went straight for iron. I haven't made any iron tools yet because I want to do that with you guys. I have made parts of the smeltery. I'll get back to that in a minute. Uh, I've been digging around quite a lot. As you can see, my pickaxe has skill level expert. It's got reinforced 2, haste, and durability plus 500. These are random modifiers, I guess, that you get when you level up. As you can see, the skill XP there, when it reaches 100, you go up a skill level and you get these modifiers on it. Pretty awesome. That happened with my shovel too, and now I have a silk touch shovel. How amazing is that? Uh, with that silk touch, I managed to get these fossils. <laughs> you can pick up the actual block. These normally just drop bones, by the way. So there is that. Uh, I'm sure you've seen this already. Yep, a Russian weapon box. I just wanted to craft that quick. Uh, let's show you how that is done. It's really simple. That's why I tried. You just put iron ingots and some dye, and there you have it. The thing I'm lacking, though, is gunpowder. I got wood and iron, so that's fine. Maybe we can make some guns today, but I will need to find a good way of getting gunpowder. But I'll get back to that. Uh, how the iron situation works. You can't harvest normal iron yet with this flint pickaxe. This stuff is apparently really overpowered, so I want it. <laughs> De Decani sodium? Decani sodium? Whatever. Let's go down here. Uh, this. Fool's iron. See, it's harvestable. And it drops multiple of these. Each one of those turn into one ingot. So this is a fantastic way of getting iron ingots early on. And I love it since I'm going to be building a lot of stuff that requires iron. Let me get up here and kind of sort myself out a little bit. And I'll get back to you. All right, we're back. So you're wondering probably, how did you get all this stuff? Very simple. Uh, you need seared bricks, which you get from, no, that's not correct, recipe, there you go, grout. 
How do you get grout, you ask? Very simple. <laughs> you need clay, sand, and gravel. This is the way I've been doing it. This is probably just the same ratio, but this gives you more at a time. And I'm going to need more of this, so I'm probably going to have to head out and get some more sand at least. But that's how you do that. These have simple recipes. You just put the seared bricks, any type of glass. Uh, this one, just seared bricks like that. And then you have the normal bricks, which are these, which is just for in a crafting table. So let's try and put this thing together. I know I'm going to need more of these seared bricks. But for now, I've cleared out a little area just to get started. And I'm going to need more space. Probably, maybe not. Maybe not, actually. Okay, let's see. That's the base of it. All right. Let's put down some dirt here, just for now. So we can build up the sides of it a little bit. And you're going to need a smeltery controller. So let's put that right there. Ooh. Did it do stuff? Yeah, there we go. That'll give you the, the levels and what's inside. Uh, I made a drain. I don't think I need that yet. But I do need a seared tank. So let's put that there. Um, what else do we need? Casting table. That's going to be useful. I don't know why I dug out this. That was silly. But let's put this right here uh this is not going to be my permanent base by the way this is uh, just to get started and um i might stay in the area i'm not sold on it though so i might head on out maybe try and find a few other people so i'm close to them that might be fun and uh, find a more permanent place to put this up so this don't worry about this being ugly <laughs> so let's put the base in there so we have that Hmm, I think that's it. I mean, the faucet, sure. Might as well. I just realized I goofed. <laughs> All right, let me sort this out. There we go. One more out like that so that the faucet can go on there. I'm pretty sure you can just put it on there. Right? Yeah, we'll find out together <laughs> once I get it all set up. Basin, sure, let's put that there, and I'm going to need another one of these. Which I'll craft up. Yeah, I got a few bricks. I'm going to have to make more grout to make more bricks and get this all sorted out, at least this first level. Let's see how many I need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Simple enough. Let me do that quickly. And there we are. I believe I have enough. If not, I'm just going to plonk in this drain. Put in one more uh, faucet here. So let's see if I can actually get this thing to work. Because then I can get some better tools and that'll be exciting. So I'm going to need lava to put in there. But it seems to be functional. It doesn't have a lot of storage in there because it's just a basic tiny little thing. But it'll serve our purpose. So let's make a bucket. And you know what? Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to wait out tonight. Actually, can I sleep? Oh, I can, and I'm sort of in the wall. That's interesting. All right. Well, that worked. Let me make the bucket out of some of this iron so I can get some lava just to get started. Um, there's another thing. Let's let's go in. Uh, I think I figured out the meteor. I can uh, go check that out. So give me a second. Okay. Let me take care of you. I'm fearless. I have a broken axe that will totally not do any damage. Let's use the pickaxe. Ooh, I'm going to need that string. It's going to be very useful. I had a creeper blast, which filled my inventory with garbage. <laughs> anyway, let's tackle this meteor. I've been looking into this. Uh, as Moose said in my comments last time, this is indeed a meteor. So I looked into it, 
And apparently inside, there's treasure. Like really high level, amazing treasure you're going to need late in the game. So what a find this is. Huh? You're going to have to... Uh, I can't mine this. But I do believe there is a way to get in here. Hello. Hello. Whoa. Oh my. Three of them? There's four of these things. In total. And I got three of them right here. Plus 11 sky stone. Oh man, that is awesome. Apparently, ooh, I don't want to dig under myself here. But you can pick up this chest, which I will do. Let's get out of here. Wow. Ooh. Look at me silk touch this. Huh? I have grass. Apparently you can make grass blocks. But that's for another time. Oh man, I can't believe you got that. As you can see, I click U to show you the uses for these. Uh... It's crazy stuff. Put it in an inscriber to get these printed engineering circuits. And you use those to make engineering processors. And you use those to make spatial components or, yeah, spatial components. And you use these to make spatial storage cells and all kinds of crazy, crazy computery business. Anyway. <laughs> That's going to be way down the road. But it's super amazing that I actually have that so early. I'm, s I'm hyped. Ooh, there's a whole bunch of berries over there. Let's go check that out. Because food is becoming an issue. <laughs> I'm too lazy to set up farms yet. What are these? Blueberries? They are indeed blueberries. Look at all these blueberries. Mm-mm-mm. I'm not going to be able to get those in the back there, but that's okay. I don't need a whole lot. I can come back at any time. Hey, Dan. Welcome to YouTube. You're on the TV now. All right, we're back here. Back in the base. I forgot to pick up lava. Be right back. Oh, man, look, I'm all hungry and stuff. Let's see if this... Monster jerky is any good. Oh man, that's actually really nice. Good. Let's put the lava in here. Boop. Perfect. So what you're going to need... Actually, let's make the aluminum brass, which is what you're going to need. Let's put all this stuff in here. Ooh, bit of lag. Cool. <laughs> Aluminum brass. We have aluminum ore, which we're able to get, and we have copper. Two kinds. Uh, let's go with the galactic craft since that's the same. Ooh, that's tinkers. I wonder if this aluminum works, though. Let's find out. So it's a 3 to 1 ratio. Aw, oh, that was silly. Uh, of aluminum. So 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And two copper. That should make aluminum brass. So while this processes, I'm going to sit here and wait, and I'll get back to you and show you if we actually manage to pull that off. In the meantime, I'm going to be crafting a few of the stone items here. And let me show you. There. Stone pickaxe head can only be used to make casts, cannot be used to make a tool. So that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to make casts, and that's what we need the aluminum brass for. You can also use gold, but I'm not able to obtain gold yet. So this is a way around that. All right. So let me get a few of these things. And uh, we can get uh, ready. And there we have molten aluminum. Just waiting for the copper to go in, and it should convert. Aluminum brass. 16 ingots we got from... Eight, so it does double my ore, so that's fantastic. Ooh, let's not walk in there. 
So what you do, I'm sure you all know this, but for people who don't know the mods, put that there. And you have this stone cast. Oh, I'm sure you need the drain there, don't you? I done goofed. I'm an idiot. All right, it turns out that I am an idiot. <laughs> you can't place these in the corner, by the way. But that's okay. It's a learning experience for all of us, right? Well, maybe not you guys that know everything, but for me, it is. So let me uh, destroy everything I've ever made. Yeah. Oh, it's still in there? I may have done... Something amazing. Oh my. <laughs> ah, I am the greatest. I'm the greatest. Probably so, since I was so quick putting that in there. Oh, I'm amazing. Look at this. Now we can melt down all the iron. Yeah, you have to put in the ingots here because I don't know if these work. Maybe we'll, we'll give it a shot after we're done. So how much is in here? A whole bunch. 15 ingots worth. Might as well put out a block of it. After I'm done making the tool rods and whatnot I'm trying to make here. There's the tool rod. Sorry. I was derping a little bit there. Perfect. So we have those. Uh, I might as well make a binding, right? I mean, I don't think I'm going to use one, but since I have all this stuff in here. 13 ingots for it still. Maybe I should make an ingot cast. Oh yeah, this has to be a drain. Anyway, let me sort this out. And uh, just get a bunch of iron going. And then we can make a better tool. Awesome. So I'll be back in a bit. All right, we're ready to make an ingot cast. All you need, actually, let's put the molten aluminum brass. I forgot you could put several different things in there at once so uh i just put some iron in and by the way these do not work so you have to melt them down into ingots first that's cool i probably should have made these into blocks to speed up this process and put more iron in oh well so i made a brick and that makes an ingot cast that's amazing now we can make any ingots we want so I'm going to need a upgrade to this, which I find in this book. This one, the tool forge to make better tools. And I'm going to need, well, oh, sheesh. need one of these tool stations. And uh, do I have enough? I think I have enough of that. So let's just do it. I um, need a workbench. Uh, stencil, blank pattern, I mean. There you go. Tool station. And we need to make... Oops. What am I thinking? Ugh. Such a nerd. Such a little noob. There we go. Four of those. <laughs> That's the worst crafting ever. Uh, and three of these. Let's make one. There you go go put that there and done tool forage uh, just for right now I'm just gonna block it right there so here we see the tool station which has these items in it oh yeah this is to put in the modifiers cool if you were wondering how I repair these things since this is broken let's just repair it all you need to do is put it in there with the material it's made out of. So flint, there you go, repaired. Super simple. Uh, I found out you can actually craft flint. And all you need is look at the recipe. That's not a recipe for flint. What's going on? You must have clicked the wrong thing. There you go, not that. But this, flint. Three in a crafting table and it gives you a flint. So that's how I've been getting flint. Very simple. So look at this. Now we have all this amazing stuff. You can make fancy hammers and battle signs. <laughs> A frying pan. Chisel. That'll be useful. Short bow. 
man. All this stuff. Which you don't have access to in the normal two st tool stations. So that's going to be really useful because I'm going to want especially a hammer. Uh, maybe a battle axe. That seems, seems fun. Look how cool that block is. Aluminum brass. <laughs> There's like little nuggets on the edges. Uh, I don't know where I put them. Oh yeah, I do. Put them in here because I'm an idiot. There we go. Let's take those. See if we can cast some uh, some things here. Pickaxe head. No, don't do that. That would be silly. Choose the iron. There we go. Whoa, a little glitchy. <laughs> All right. And uh, let's make the tool rod too out of iron. Why not? Just want a tool. Glitchy stuff, man. You know what? For simplicity's sake, <laughs> let's make it out of iron. Why not? So much to learn, so many things I don't know, so I'm sorry if I'm all over the place here. Uh, in here? Why can we just do it here? Uh, maybe. Yeah, you can. So let's put in all our things. Tool binding, the tool rod. Look at that, it's all white and irony. Mining level iron. Clumsy. <laughs> yeah, you always started clumsy. Can we name it? Call it Iron Mech Diggy Iron. Perfect name. Wow, it does. It doesn't even cost you anything. <laughs> oh man, that's amazing. Let's go try this thing out. Of course, you can put modifiers on it. Oh, I can get full scold now. Let's see if this actually does give you a nugget. Yeah. It's not worth digging, is it? But now I can dig iron. Normal iron. Well, that feels pretty good. There's a whole bunch of other stuff that I want to try and get now. Oh, I can get this. And look how many of that gave me. Nine. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. Uranium. That's going to take some time. For it. Oh, I want this so bad. Tin is too high of a level still. Okay. Yeah, so tier two stuff. That's all right. At least it'll uh, help us get a few things we didn't get before. Yeah, look at this guy. Going into fire. Crazy guy, Dan. Crazy guy. Can I get this now? Yeah, amber bearing stone. Apparently these can be used for things. Let's explore that together. Amber block, uh-huh. Botanical brewery. To get vial of sane thoughts. What? Uh-huh. Wow. I'm sure that's useful. Oh, let me tell you a funny story while I'm doing this. Uh <laughs> So you can see, I have 44 sacred oak saplings and 35 sacred oak wood. Now, these things are pretty amazing and going to be very useful to me at some point. But there, was, there are these giant trees out there. You can sort of see it on the mini map in the top left. They are absolutely massive. So I, since we have tree capitator, I went up and I said to the other guys, we're like three people on at a time. And I said... Sacred oak tree. Surely nothing bad can happen if I chop this down. <laughs> and they just laughed it off. And I did it. And I went down to like one FPS as logs and, and leaves and, and saplings just flew everywhere. And I crashed the server. <laughs> I crashed the server for everyone. I felt really bad. I have a gun. Can't make that yet, though. But look at this. We're on our way, guys. Look at this. Pew, pew. Oh, man. I'm so excited to get this stuff going. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. I almost forgot. I'm probably going to need normal 
wood for this oak man that gun i got a gun guys <laughs> uh wool 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 where's the wool here's the wool there's the wool i want to make you think this is a bed you think this is a bed you're wrong this is the world war ii armor box man i'm so excited to see what's in here i have no idea You need yellow wool for that. Cool. I don't have any more wool, by the way. Oh, man. This is going to be so amazing. Look at this gear, man. Oh, great. Oh, that looks amazing. Look at that German helmet. <laughs> Japanese with green. Oh, that's cool. Look at the beret. Oh, man. I'm going to have so much fun with this. Next time you see me, I'm totally going to be wearing this stuff. American snow camo. How cool is this stuff, man? There's so much. <laughs> German forest. Oh, man, that's it. That is amazing. So I'm probably running out of time here. What was the last thing I was going to do? Let's quickly do this. Very quickly do this. Uh, since I forget what it's called, let's just look up the daisy. Because I'm going to need a pure daisy. This thing. Uh, what's it called? Petal Apothecary. That's it. Petal. This thing. That's what I want. Right. Super simple. I have petals. It doesn't seem to matter which color anything is. So I'm going to need you. Pretty sure I already made... Yeah, there we go. Petals. Red. Oh, this is amazing. This is the Botania mod that I was talking about. And it has me so intrigued for what it can do. I've never tried this before. Look at that. How cool is this thing? Yeah, I'm just realizing that I'm going to need a better base soon because I'm running out of space everywhere. Let's put it right here. Look at this thing. You can decorate it too with with moss. Let's see. How does this work? Oh, you need to put stuff in it and all. All right. That's something for next time. Something came up and I lost my train of thoughts. But <laughs> here I am. That's quite the hat, isn't it? These hats are ridiculous. Anyway, I think I've made some good progress here. I'm going to do some more work off camera, um, get more situated, maybe look for a different location to set up a permanent base so I can get organized. And next time, I'll definitely have gunpowder. Get some gun action going. So I've been the general. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. At ease.